Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at SketchUp Importer. SketchUp Importer is made available by the folks at Red Hollow Studio and this add-on actually allows you to import your SketchUp file into Blender. I was made known to this by an amazing creator known as Valdrin. You can simply go over to his Instagram and check out some of the cool things that he has and he has a couple of things that you might want to get inspired by. So with that said, if you go over to this link which I'm going to put in the description that will bring you over to the GitHub page, you can download the most recent version that has been updated so that you can be able to use Blender 2.93 alongside with this and also SketchUp 2021. So this is very nice and for those who would like to grab SketchUp, you can proceed to the SketchUp.com and get SketchUp or you can simply start modeling with the web version of SketchUp that has been made available by the folks at Trimble. So this is also a very nice tool that you can use to rapidly make 3D stuff. Now the beautiful thing about the add-on is you can make your SketchUp work and download that SketchUp and use it directly in Blender. And for those who are looking for free content that they would like to work with, you can go over to the 3D warehouse where you can find tons of 3D models. So for example, if we're looking for a house, we can type in the word house and automatically you're going to see a couple of housings that deals with, you know, normal housing for certain things. And of course you can see houses like this. So depending on the kind of house you're looking for, and you can also search by categories. In this case, you can also go over here and search for categories, let's say furniture, infrastructure, electronics, military, interior products, and you can see all the things here now the beautiful part about the sketchup warehouse is once you select anything for example if we have a model like this we can also preview this model directly on the viewport right here within the sketchup 3d warehouse and you can proceed to hit the download button select the sketchup version that you like to download and download it the same thing happens right here so you can preview any of the model you know look through it make it a full screen if you want make it a you know tiny screen if you want as well and then you can proceed to download it now once you have the model you want to work with and a free add-on you can now jump over to blender and install the add-on now installing this add-on is very simple all you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install it and once you install it if you save your preference and click on file go over to where you have import you would now notice that you have the sketchup importer right here so with the SketchUp importer, you can now click and import your SketchUp scenes and use them. So once you import it, let's go ahead and get rid of the cube. You can see what we have. Of course, you would notice that all of these are smooth shaded. So you can simply select that right click and make them flat. You know, if this is what you want, you want to see them looking good. And this looks extremely nice. Now, the next thing which you probably want to do if you have lots of group is to filter the group. So you can choose to filter the group so that you just see the camera and every other thing minus the meshes. You can actually use this to get those things happening. Then with this, you can proceed to start landscaping, importing more files if this is what you want to do. But if you, you know, just want to landscape, you can now proceed to do some very cool landscaping and uh, prepare the model for render. So this is very easy and it's very interesting to see that there's an add-on like this that can save you all of this time. Now for the landscaping, what we're working with is Botanic from the folks at Polygonic and you can simply use this to scatter vegetations across your scene and you can also control how this vegetation scatter. Now for those who would also want to get some very good vegetations as well, you can also consider taking a look at this, which comes in very handy because you can throw in several models into it and you can tweak this to get some very cool results. Now, something else is the lighting might not be like the best that you might want to work with. And in this case, you might want to add some extra lights to it. So what we're going to do is take a look at the physical atmosphere add-on that we have, and we're going to use that to introduce some light. So this is how you can get your model from basic model in SketchUp over to Blender, where you can do some amazing, amazing tweaks. Now you can also push these things depending on what you want by throwing in some extra vehicles, throwing some extra trees, some shrubs, you know, populate the scenes and get going with it. And it's very interesting to see that there is actually an add-on that can bridge that use of SketchUp alongside with Blender. SketchUp is an amazing tool that you can use to do some very interesting and impressive architectural designs. And it's very interesting to see that right now you can now combine the power of SketchUp and also that of Blender to create some very amazing piece. And that's about it. For those who like to take a look at this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can proceed to check it out and get it for free. And of course, if you're also thinking about getting the add-ons that we just talked about, you can go over to the Blender market right now that they have in their summer sale and save up on 25% of all these add-ons and even way more add-ons and get started with it. Links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. Of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, 
you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.